Looks like we managed to get the bottom right corner, or top right, depending on how you look at it. And civilian right in front of us. Probably end the turn immediately to see what happens to him. Looks like we're actually in a pretty good corner here. We got the uh, the wall here. Separating us from everything else, I could actually get a shield across the way. I don't really know what's up there. Actually, let's play it safe a bit. Crouch down, just end the turn, see what happens to that civilian. If he dies, then I know something's up there. Is that reaction fire? Oh, okay. At that thing. I couldn't see because the hidden movement screen is up. Apparently, a little scout thing came, uh, came into view when we shot at it from our ship. Okay, so he definitely died. Looks like there was burst fire up there, the little scout thing's up there somewhere too, so there's probably a civilian, a scout thing, civilians are unpacked, so probably at least two of them. Probably just two. And I'm assuming the UFO's on the opposite corner, not adjacent corner. So probably just two there, probably like three or four over here, and then the scout UFO thing, and probably two in the ship. We'll see. Madmaster should be able to wreck this guy's face pretty hard with his machine gun. Oh yeah. No problem there. And pancakes. We're going to get gun down if we move too far in. However, up here might be okay. No luck, we found one. Let's kill this first. Where's our sniper? Not, um... Not really in the best of spots. Above the shoot and move. Okay. That worked. I was just gonna have you scoot over and have the sniper scoot and take a shot. It would have been a pretty inaccurate shot, because snipers don't, uh... They don't, they don't get very accurate when you move them. But, that's looking pretty good. Actually, be sneaky about it. Here we go. Crouch here. And get some support over there as well. We'll go for Map Master. So if there is any more over there, as they come around, we might be able to pull off some reaction fire. We just need to get Commissar up so they don't shoot at him instead. Actually, let's have you turn, because you got the cover on that side, so we'll get the shield on this side in case you get shot from over there. And... I really want to get somebody here, but I need to make sure it's clear up there, and I'm pretty sure it's not clear up there. So I might just end the turn here. Somebody bled to death? I just heard it, somebody die, and no, uh, no gunshot sound. We're all okay, so it may have been this civilian, actually. If he didn't die earlier, he definitely died just now. Okay, yeah, there he is. Okay, there is one up there. Quick, back behind the cover! Mm, too far away for burst fire. Could, though. Since now we know where he is, he's gonna move. Because that's what they do. They don't seem to really do much off-screen unless there's a civilian nearby. It seems like if nobody at all can see them, they just camp. But if a civilian sees them, or they see a civilian, or we see them or something, then they're gonna start, you know, doing things. So he's probably gonna engage now, run up at us, so we'll have to get ready for reaction fire there. And looks like we'll probably be... Probably be okay, just how we are now. Go for it. Forgot to turn Commissar. Wow, he actually ran away. That is not what I expected. Okay. Well. It's, uh... Really? Can't... Can't hop the fence with a shield, huh? Well, just... Fuck, you don't have any room for it. Okay. Um... Fine. Uh, shoot it? Again. Break it. Break it! You're using a fucking laser! It's wide! And, and it's right in front of you. Why are you missing? Fine. I just want to see what's over there. 
My master hopped the fence. Okay, get back over. Immediately clear over there, so unless there's something inside that building, which is very possible, Commissar was then safe. So we will, for safety, throw a smoke grenade here, protecting his side. I don't think that'll be too big. Yeah, perfect. Okay, cool. Well done. We can actually get more people up there now, now that the uh, side's clear. Get our sniper up a bit. Should look that way. Get a couple people looking that way in case something does come out from over there. Because I don't know what's in the building and I don't know what's immediately around the corner. I'm pretty sure something's going to be over there though. It's very unusual to have just a single civilian. Actually, he came from up there. Didn't he? Pretty... yeah. Yeah, there's going to be more down here. We'll find him. Yeah, there's one. Okay. Hi, welcome to Reaction Fire. He's like, oh shit, they see me. Oh, how's that possible? I'll just run back behind these hedges. Okay, bye. I'll hold him at bay like this. Oh no, he's just gonna kneel next to the hedges. That's not exactly how cover works. But thanks for trying. Yeah, chance of blocking from the stupid hedges. All right, Abubba, do your thing. Nice wicked burst fire, annihilated him. This gun is so powerful. Laser in general is really powerful. Small clip capacity, but that's a very minute bonus. Or minute uh, issue, I suppose. There we go. Making extra sure I'm clicking the fence, because I think before I might have been missing it. And there he is, so we will ignore him. We'll leave him be. I see you now, though. So he sees we see him. And he'll be all like, oh no, Xenonauts totally knows where I am. I better do anything. And he'll run at me. Or just run away. What is with them running away? Man. What I get for trying to predict things. Alright, fine. I will... I'll be relatively clever about it. And shoot my way in. Slowly but surely. We'll go for a burst fire next round. I think you should... Yeah, you'll be able to... Yep. We'll just go for a burst fire and annihilate it that way. We gotta move up a bit to engage with whatever may still be up there. Because so far I think we're rocking... I honestly don't remember where that guy came from. Which is sad because it like just happened. I think he may have came from up there though. So that'd be two civilians and one scout from up there. So it might be clear up there, but I'm going to check anyway. I need to find the UFO. I don't think it'll be up here. But I'm really bad at predicting nowadays. So who knows? Probably going to regret doing this. Ah, there is another one up there. Okay. Well, maybe the ship is up there. I don't know. Again, really bad with predicting things nowadays. Okay. I was gonna I was gonna say Henrik being up here is a bad idea, because then that means that uh Gambit and Mattmaster don't have any sort of a chance on reaction fire accidentally and it'll just shoot at Henrik rather than move up on us and also kind of defeats the purpose then if they engage with him of us destroying these walls. Eventually. Yeah, got it. Too bad, too bad we're in the way. Uh, we can, we can move. Fine, I think we're probably far enough-ish away from him. Up there. Things do count as full body, right? Yeah. Cool. Yay. Safe-ish. Hmm. Watch her back, Matt Master. Gambit watching that way. So we're we're okay down here. We'll take care of that guy relatively easily. Henrik keeping an eye mostly on that building, but I gotta keep uh, this guy in check. 
Um, so we could have just Commissar run up all super aggressive like and be all watch cha cha and whap him over the head with a stun baton. This way around. I'm attempting to be clever here. But I don't think he'll move out far enough for Abubba to handle him next turn. I feel like this is all going horribly wrong, and I should just throw a smoke grenade there and save lives. But we're going to see how this plays out. Get the Ultra Muppet heading up. Because they prioritize shields so heavily, I assume a bubble's going to be okay there. And with the alien drawn out of cover, a burst fire from a bubble should take him down really easily from that range. Okay, he did get back into cover though a little bit. Commissar took a hit, but... Uh... I guess armor absorbed it completely. Mr. Alien Guy... Come out, come out, wherever you are. There he is. Okay. One time it's short from crouching. Poop. Uh, oh, fuck. This is all sorts of bad. Really wish you could crouch, Commissar. Because Ababa doesn't have enough time units to move out. Um... Go for a splash and throw it over the hedges. Ah, awesome. Okay, so you might actually be okay then. And just stay put for a bit. Yeah, I don't think the Ultra Muppet's going to be able to get an angle. Not this turn. Maybe next time. Definitely get him next time, even if it means Commissar Pancakes whips the dude with his baton. If I have to, I will. Even though I don't really need to stun aliens. How do we see you? You're so far- you're behind so much cover. There's even another one over there. It's insane. Okay. We will just wait here for another turn and see what you guys do next turn. Awesome. Okay, so if this dude moves, I think Henrik's gonna be able to pull off a shot. This building seems clear. Oh, hi, alien ship. There it is. Found it. And... Uh... Thomas Tupanti, head down here. Probably need some help. There we go. Cool. We'll see how this plays out. Yep, you move and just shoot once. You can't do a burst fire because suppression prevents that. It cuts off just enough time and they can not burst fire, but they can move and shoot once. Which I'd assume the armor slash shield would stop. Which it did. However, now is the tricky part. Where I learned how stun batons work. Never used one. We'll see. 31 time minutes. Bah! That felt so ineffective. I don't think that did anything. Uh, quick! Tear gas! Oh god, I hope Commissar's okay. I think it's just far enough away it won't hit Commissar. Uh. Yeah, it's just far enough away that it didn't hit Commissar. Okay, pistol back out. We might just need to cap him in the face. Oh god, he won't go down! Um... Commissar, I'm sorry! Flashbang! Ah! Okay, suppressed him. Okay, so Commissar only needs to absorb a blow. Cool. I never used a stun baton before. I don't think... I don't think it even did any damage. It just seemed like it did absolutely nothing. I just smacked him with, like... <laughs> smacked him in, like, the neck and did nothing. He didn't even grimace. Oh god, and they ran off. God, where'd they go?
We'll see. Hey, smoke knocked him out in the end. Awesome. Okay, and they're moving around a bit. A little bit of reaction fire going on. Can't see if we're hitting. I think the pistol shot hit him, but I think Thomas Duponte missed. Ah. Eh. We okay? Yeah, we're okay. Okay, well, he's an easy target, and he is just behind cover. Okay. So if Matt Master rolls around the side, he should be able to shoot at him as he comes around or out. Because he's going to need to move to hit us. And let's go for Thomas Duponte. First thing, because, wow. God, this gun's so good when you aim it. If you're timing a single shot, 95% chance of hitting. Got him for 60. Bringing him down easy and leaving plenty of time minutes for reaction fire, but we'll reload while we still can. Relying on Gambit and Matt Master to finish that guy off as he moves. Commissar Pancakes is okay, reloading. Because it looks like this guy actually did get knocked out from the smoke in the end. Which is pretty, pretty cool. I think we're clear up here. Okay. Enric. Uh, hold off. Hold off here. Tractor's blocking the shot. I'll probably have you hop the fence and hit the tractor next turn. Because that building seems definitely empty. There he goes. Running out. A little bit of reaction fire. There's the burst fire. Oh, only one did damage. Damn. That's okay, still hurt him a lot. Should be able to get him down. Go for it. Get your kill. You deserve it. Ah, uh, it takes so long to pop a battery in. Okay. We'll move up with Gambit nonetheless. 